I'm gonna show you how to build this amethyst shard farm. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. If you happen to like today's video, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. Okay, so I have everything on set to regular tick, just one tick, uh, as you can see here. Uh, let's go all the way down just so I can show it to you. Just regular tick speed of one. Um, I have this going for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. So I got four shards. Keep in mind, these amethysts th grow very, very slow, especially when there's only uh, one area for them to grow. But this is automatic. You don't have to come by and mine it or anything like that. So you can have it like this, okay, where you have these trapdoors here. Or you can have it with the trapdoors off, which will let the amethyst also grow out of the side. These, however, will have to be mined by, uh, by hand. But it does double the output of the, of the growth. Because not only will they grow on the top part, but they'll also grow on the side. So that's up to you if you want to come by, if you want to save like a, a fortune. Uh, excuse me, for, is it fortune? Yeah, the one that gives you whatever it is, fortune or the other one. Um, pickaxe to uh, to be able to mine it manually, that's up to you. I'm going to show you with the spruce trap doors. That's the way I like it. But again, that's entirely um, up to you. So you can have it You can have it either way, okay? Uh, and essentially what will happen is there's four growth stages. So those observers using a system that we got under here to detect, it'll detect all of the growth stages. Once it gets to the fourth one, the piston will push it down. Uh, and then there's a mine cart underneath with the hopper that actually collects it. It will go into uh, the system right here, the barrel. And then uh, the piston will push down again, and that will reset the farm. So that way the observers have uh, have everything set back to zero. So that way it can observe the four uh, the growth stages. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Uh, There's a very similar system, actually the exact same system that I used for my um, the pumpkin farm, the uh, auto carving system. Very, very same um, mechanic, uh, but it's very, very useful, especially for this. Okay, so let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need. Okay, now the uh, the amethyst shard is just to go inside of the item frame. You also don't need a glow item frame. You can just use a regular one. Um, but so you can actually just save this if you don't have it right away. You can get it afterwards. But you're, you're going to need about a stack of stone brick stairs. You're going to need some dirt. I don't know. Take a stack if you have it. I just put 20 in there. Flower pots and the alley, allium are just for decoration. Three stone brick slabs, although if you want to cover the top, if you want to cover the top, you would need probably a half a stack of those. Uh, I left it open so you can see what's inside, but you can also cover it. So either take 35 or three. Uh, one hopper is all you're going to need. Two red, uh, seven redstone comparators, eight torches. I have eight uh, uh, oak trap doors. Those are for decoration. 42 observers, so it does take a lot, but keep in mind, this is automatic. This is not something you have to mine by hand. You're going to need the budding amethyst, seven of them. Make sure that it's the budding amethyst and not the amethyst block. Those are completely different, so you need the budding one. About two stacks of stone bricks, seven purple stained glass panes, seven lamps. You don't even need the lamps. I like them just because it's it's really cool when it goes off, but again, you, they're not necessary. Lanterns for decoration. You're going to need one mine cart with hopper, seven powered rails, a barrel, or you could use a chest or a double chest. I'd say just stick with a barrel. 14 pistons. Shroom lights are, again, just for decoration and added light. Not necessary. You can use any light source if you want or just no light source. Uh, you're going to need 14 repeaters, 14 droppers, and you're going to need uh, 8 spruce trap doors unless you're going to go with the original way that I said, in which case you don't need them. Okay? First, what we're going to do is you're going to put down a stone brick block. You're going to count 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You're going to put down another one. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to dig out those blocks like so you're going to dig two down under here okay and you're going to put one of the torches and then you can just put uh any block you want back i'd say just use the this is going to be covered so you don't necessarily need to use the stone brick just put whatever you just had there okay go straight across with your uh power drill except for that middle block so one two three on that fourth one you're going to turn around and you're going to put that dispenser here we go. You're going to put that dispenser right oops, against that block. I don't know why I just did that. Actually, you can put down the barrel. So barrel, and then crouch and place your hopper, and then go ahead and you can put your rails back on top. Okay? So that's where the barrel is going to be right there. Then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to put your minecart with hopper 
and it'll just take off like that. We're then going to take a spruce trap door, crouch, place it, and put it up. Okay, like so. Then you can come over here with your stone bricks and go one, two, three, like that. One, two, three, like that. And then the back, I didn't do anything with the back, but you can go ahead and if you want and just go like that so you don't see dirt when you're looking inside. That's entirely up to you. I'm also going to cover that really quick. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we don't need that, that, or that anymore. Uh, we're going to take our, here it is, our budding amethyst. We're going to run it across like so. Okay. I'm, like I said, I'm going to take the trap door and I'm going to put it there just so nothing grows. Okay, we're going to go behind it and we're going to put regular blocks like that. Now we're going to take our, our observers and we're going to do one row of observers going across just like that. Then we're going to take our piston, uh, uh, not our piston, sorry. We're going to take our repeaters and we're going to put them on full delay coming out, as you can see right here. Okay, so we're going to go blocks there. We're going to take our repeaters and put a repeaters on every single one of these to full. Okay, then we're gonna come here, we're gonna put blocks there, blocks there, just like that. And actually you can do two, two rows of observers for this row, and then more blocks going across like that. Okay, do another row just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take our droppers, we're gonna face the droppers going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can use dispensers, they're a little more uh, expensive, so I don't know why you'd want to. But then you're going to run the, these droppers. The top droppers have to face down. Okay, so you're going to run them just like that. Oops. So the you have the bottom droppers facing up, the top droppers facing down. Okay. And then what you're going to do inside each of these bottom ones, you're going to take, uh, that's why we needed the dirt. That's what you do need a whole stack. Okay. And then you're just going to put four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to do that for all of the bottom ones. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come in and put another uh, row of blocks, and then you're going to put comparators coming out of that, okay? Then you're going to do blocks, blocks, and now we're going to put torches on top. Well, actually, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so we're going to put torches right here, like so. On the top of those torches, we're going to put pistons facing this way, so you can just run the pistons out like that. Okay, now coming out of the pistons, we're going to put a block of air, and then you're going to have more observers facing out. So you just put, oops, you just got to crouch and place the observers like this all the way across. Okay, coming out of these observers, so where the red is, you're going to put uh, more of the um, repeaters set to full, and then you're going to have more observers, two rows of them to be exact, coming out like this, and like that okay and then what we're going to do this is actually where you're going to be putting your redstone lamps running across and then underneath the lamps we're actually going to be putting our pistons like that just like that there okay now if at any point you had some growth because now the system set up if at any point you had some growth you would just have to really quickly um Re replace the just in case you had the growth before you you hooked up the whole system so when there are four in the bottom for dirt that means there's nothing here so let's say while you were building this you had a growth here okay let's say something grew right here and it was only the first stage the small one what you would have to do is find that row so let's just use this first one as an example so this is the first row we'd have to come to this right here you would have to take out uh, however many it is. So if it's only a growth of one, you would take out one from here and you'd put it in this top one. Now, you shouldn't have it grow because they don't, like I said, they do not grow quickly. You can have a couple of days of Minecraft in-game time go by before you even have one. So just keep that in mind. Don't tell me, oh, it's not working. I promise you guys it works. Okay, it's just very, very slow. Because normally if you would just have this, an amethyst up right here, it would be able to grow on the bottom on the side, on this side, on the front, on the back, on the top. Okay, so you'd have six different areas for it to grow. We're limiting we're limiting the growth to just one. So it's going to be six times slower than just having than just having a block like this. But this way you'd have to mine it manually. This way it does it automatically. I prefer the automatic way. So it's going to go a little slower, but if you put it in a high traffic area or an area where it's always ticking, it's going to work. Okay? 
So yeah, like I said, if there's nothing here, there should be four inside all of these. If it was the first level of growth before you had a chance to hook this whole thing up, then you take out one. You know, you would just you would just put it based on how it is. Okay, so if it's fully grown uh, at four, this should actually be crushing it. So what you'd want to do is just take this out really quickly, let it crush it, and then put it right back in. Okay, so that's that's just a little ca caveat, just in case you're like, oh, it's not working. Uh, you just want to make sure that once you once you hook all of this up, just come here and make sure nothing is grown. Okay, or you could simply break it get nothing from it, and then reset all of these to four again. That's entirely up to you. But the way you want it to work is when there's nothing here, there has to be four in all of these droppers. Okay, and then what happens is as it grows, it's going to get transferred from this hop one at a time. It's going to go from there to there. So if it's on the first level, it'll be three. If it's on the second level, it'll be two here, two here. If it's on the third one, it'll be one here, and three there and then if it's on if it's a, once it's a full cluster it'll take a second this will go from uh, one to zero this will go to four as soon as that is fully at four it's going to activate this piston the piston will push it push it down uh twice it'll because it'll it'll the observer will read it going down and going up that'll take these two two from the four put it back down here two and then it'll go again one two that'll remove the last two from up here back down to here and it'll always reset to four, okay? Hopefully that made sense. That might not be, that might not have made sense, but I promise you it works, okay? And then all we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna decorate it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is on the sides, we're gonna come up just like that, so two more, okay? We're also gonna go back here on the side and go diagonal, go one, two, three. Same thing on this one, one, two, three. And then we're simply going to put these, uh, stairs on all of these sides here just the top and the bottom kind of leaving the middle one open just like this and then what we're going to do inside the middles that's where the that's where these come into play right here okay so we're going to put oak trap doors one two just like that and you do you're going to do that on all the corners okay so what we're going to do again you can take your glow item frame or your regular item frame you're just going to put it there with the shard in it just so uh, you know, you see, excuse me, where the, uh, where it goes. I like it. I like, or you see what this is. I happen to like the, the glow item frame. Uh, if you want, you can replace these corners with the shroom lights. That's what I did. But that's entirely up to you. Okay. And then we're going to, we're going to take our purple stained glass panes. We're going to crouch and we're going to put them on top, right on top of these trap doors right here. These spruce trap doors. Okay. And you're not going to be able to fully go. But it goes there. And what that does, besides decoration, it also prevents these shards from popping all the way out. So they get picked up by the minecart. Okay? So just uh, just keep that in mind. And then on the sides, all you're going to do is you're just going to cover it. So one, two, three like that. And on the back. Okay? And then do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay? Now what I did on the side was I went like this and like this for where right next to the lamps. And then again, we're going to go up one more. Just like that. We're going to put a stone. Whoops! We're going to put a stone brick here and here, and then again we're going to put another one like that with a slab in the middle. Okay, so we're going to take our slabs here. We're going to go one, two, one, two. Okay, and then that's when we're going to take our lanterns, hang the lanterns down. Okay, so it looks like that, and then we're going to do the same thing for the side. So we're going to go all the way across. Okay, just like that. We're going to run. A regular line here and then we're just going to kind of mimic the back so we're going to go this way this way we're going to do another one there and there we're going to do another one here and here and then another one there and then if you wanted to i didn't i didn't include this but you can also do it like that for the back as well just so it looks you know just so it looks really really good um and then for the side i just went ahead and i believe i just went up yeah to the row to the row right here. So we're going to go this way and this way. And then same thing here. This way. Oh yeah, like that. Okay, and I left the top open just in case you have to come in here and, uh, like I said, bug fix for the initial... Ah, see, now we have growth. Okay, so we have one stage of growth. So I'm just going to go in here really quick and show it to you. That's the first one. So there's going to be three here and one up top. Okay? 
So for every stage of growth, that's the first row, it's going to take one of those pieces of dirt from the bottom and put it in uh, the top uh, dropper. Okay, so it does grow. As you can see, it takes a really, really long time. But eventually, this will start to fill up with ameth amethyst. Put this in an AFK area. Put it in a ticking area. Put it in an, air put it in an area that you're always walking by, and it will work uh, very, very nicely. Okay, but like I said, if you wanted to, once you have it hooked up, you should never have to bug fix it. Okay, it's just coming here, cover it up. I did not include these in the, uh, in the, in the materials, but you can pretty much just figure that out. And you're good to go. Real quick, almost forgot. We're going to take our flower pots, if you want, put them there and there. And then that is where the alliums are going to go. And I, again, I didn't include this, but you can also put it here and here. Since we decorated the back, you would just double up on the uh, materials needed. That way, you know, it doesn't look so plain in the back. Okay? But that's it. That's the whole form. I just wanted to share that with you. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.